NASA has recently revised its lunar exploration program, significantly impacting the planned lunar starship landing due to continual delays from SpaceX. This development has raised concerns over the future of SpaceX's Starship, as NASA is a primary investor in this project, and alterations may imply underlying uncertainties and potential impediments in the development path of Starship. Back in 2021, NASA awarded a monumental contract to SpaceX, amounting to $2.9 billion, entrusting the private company with the mission of transporting astronauts from lunar orbit to the Moon's surface using Starship, this not only marked a colossal victory for SpaceX, but also brought immense responsibilities, resulting in increased scrutiny and a multitude of deadlines. Prior to this contract, NASA was leading the way in space travel, making big strides to return to the Moon, especially with so many countries racing to explore the Moon's South Pole. But after awarding this contract, NASA has put a lot of trust in SpaceX. This change means more than just a business deal. It shows that SpaceX isn't just any company. It's now carrying the hopes and dreams of a nation that used to be the leader in space exploration during the space race. Three weeks ago, India made history with its moon mission becoming the first to land in the lunar South Pole region. With China also making aggressive progress towards similar goals, the stakes are high, and NASA's concerns regarding delays are understandable. The U.S., once a leader in space exploration, is now in a close race with other nations. You might be wondering, why is the South Pole of the Moon so important? This spot on the Moon has potential expensive materials that are hard to find on Earth. But for now, it's all silent and untouched, waiting potentially for astronauts to step foot there. NASA has big plans to send humans to this unique location, but there are a lot of uncertainties making it hard to know when this Moon dream will become a reality. Jim Free, a high-ranking official at NASA, has pointed out that there might be delays in the Artemis III mission, and it seems like there is a bit of worry and doubt about it. There are several reasons for the concerns, including the delayed flight of Starship, challenges with refueling it in space, and making sure it can land on the moon successfully. Even with these worries, NASA has backup plans for every situation. They are working hard to make sure that the goals of Artemis III are met, no matter how Artemis II turns out. Before moving forward, it's quite ironic to acknowledge that while NASA points out the delays from SpaceX, another government body, the Federal Aviation Administration, plays a substantial role in causing those delays. The stringent regulatory requirements and compliance hurdles imposed by the FAA have added a layer of challenges. Indeed, the relationship between the FAA and SpaceX has been marked by a series of disagreements and hurdles with the federal agency often in the way of SpaceX's big plans. For example, in SpaceX's early days, the FAA fined them a few times because they said SpaceX didn't follow some federal rules. This showed the tension between trying new things in space technology and following existing safety rules. In 2020, another big disagreement happened. SpaceX wanted to test their Starship prototype high in the sky, but the FAA said they broke some public safety rules and started investigating them. This situation showed the ongoing struggle between SpaceX wanting to move fast with new tech and the FAA making sure everything is safe and by the book. They said SpaceX went ahead with the test flight without the right approvals, showing the constant struggle between innovation and existing rules. Of course, that reminds us about the recent past memories, particularly the delays imposed on SpaceX prior to the first Starship launch on April 20th. This date was realized after enduring numerous postponements and frustrations within the space community. It reached a point where the anticipation of the grant of the launch license almost overshadowed the excitement surrounding the actual launch of the revolutionary Starship rocket. And this is exactly what's happening today. Musk has been pretty open about his frustrations with the FAA. He said many times that he's annoyed with how slow the approval processes are, especially when compared to how quickly technology is advancing. Sure, safety is super important, but groundbreaking projects like Starship also need some space to make mistakes and learn from them. Just a week ago, we were all super excited and on the edge of our seats, thinking that Starship might finally take off. SpaceX, matching our excitement, had even fully stacked the rocket between the 8th and the 13th of September, during the expected launch window. It felt like everything was falling into place. However, our high hopes were soon knocked down. 
SpaceX had to de-stack the rocket because the FAA didn't give the necessary launch permission. The FAA said more steps needed to be taken before such permission could be given, leaving all of us in a mix of excitement and letdown. And now, once again, the FAA has dropped a hint suggesting a potential date for Starship's launch. But this whisper of hope doesn't seem to have sat well with SpaceX and Musk. It seems like Musk has had it with all these constant delays, and he's finally let out his frustration on Twitter. The head of the FAA's Commercial Space Division revealed that the mishap investigation from the last test had been concluded and said a license would likely be granted somewhere in mid to late October, assuming SpaceX makes the required changes. Before moving forward, SpaceX must address 63 corrective actions specified by the FAA, with 27 focused directly on public safety, highlighting the undivided attention to meticulous safety protocols. Musk recently expressed his fury over what he perceives as bureaucratic delays. A tweet drew attention to the impending review by U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials, saying, U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials have yet to begin a formal review of SpaceX's upgrades following Starship's first launch in April. This could push back the next launch window by months, which I know none of us want to hear. Musk's irate response was immediate. That is unacceptable. It is absurd that SpaceX can build a giant rocket faster than they can shuffle paperwork. This development comes after the April 20th, 2023 attempt, which saw Starship blowing up just over three minutes into what was supposed to be a 90-minute flight, causing debris to fall into the Gulf of Mexico and destroying the Texas launch pad. This led the FAA into a rigorous investigation, setting the stage for significant procedural and safety enhancements. In collaboration with NASA, SpaceX is paving its path with responsibility for lunar orbit and transferring astronauts from the Orion spacecraft to the lunar surface and back. However, challenges are relentless. The Orion capsule isn't fully finalized. Investigations into its heat shield can possibly delay the lunar journey. And the assembly of SLS has also encountered delays due to issues with its downcomers. Both NASA and SpaceX are racing against time, working meticulously to meet the requirements of the Artemis III mission. The extensive prerequisites include multiple successful launches, execution of ship-to-ship -ship transfers, successful uncrewed landing on the moon with Starship. It's paramount to underscore that SpaceX has been focusing on addressing the challenges with Starship and achieving progressive milestones. The latest developments include the emergence of a life support system, a vital component in human-carrying spacecraft. While official confirmations are awaited, the parallel development potential of SpaceX is quite evident. The unfolding scenario also shapes the geopolitical landscape, painting a picture of a race to the moon between the US and China. The global narrative is teeming with speculations and observations related to China's ambitions, fueling discussions related to lunar dominance and international implications. The resource perspective brings the hidden ice within the lunar south pole into the limelight, serving as a potential reservoir for rocket fuel production and drinking water. The ongoing efforts and advancements are having worldwide effects, as nations stress shared use of the moon's resources. Nelson, focusing on the global interest in these efforts, underscored the need to make sure resources are available to everyone and to avoid any one group taking control. Even with concerns and doubts around, SpaceX has been showing parts of its development process, showcasing pieces of the nose cone on the upcoming Starship HLS prototype that's about to be tested. The joint journey of NASA and SpaceX in the Artemis lunar exploration is packed with hurdles, hopes, and unknowns. The complex mix of changes, international effects, and geopolitical stories are determining the direction of moon exploration. The question of whether SpaceX is facing troubles is complex, going beyond just technical difficulties. Together, their vision and efforts are exploring new territories, with every move making an impact in the history of space exploration. The world is watching closely as this story develops, possibly revealing a future that once seemed like it only belonged in science fiction. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.